How do sociopaths make us fall in love with them? Well, one technique is that they put us on a pedestal. They tell us how wonderful we are, and they tell everybody else how wonderful we are. What does this look like? Listen to my ex-husband, James Montgomery. changed our lives, it's changed my life since my early 20s, the words I spoke then. Um, and throughout the years, words have meant a hell of a lot to me. And the words that Donna and I exchanged earlier and um, the words that even brought us together. But I'm going to make a toast now that comes down to two very special words. And they're thank you. Uh, according to the etiquette, etiquette or the etiquette, um, that's an in chick joke. Um, <laughs> nobody got it. Uh, I'm, I'm supposed to be thanking the parents of the bride. But um, I never got to meet, and one of the sad things in my life, the rest of my life will be, I never got to meet Donna's mother. And those of my friends that got to meet Donna over the last six months or so uh, have absolutely spellbound by this incredible creature that I've married. And to her parents, and more than her parents, to her complete family, uh, to her two brothers and her sister. Somewhere along the line, we all start with the same genes, and they did something so special with this lady. It is absolutely incredible. And I, my heartfelt thanks uh, go out to the people that created my donor for me. I'd ask you to drink a toast now to the parents and the family, the Andersons. I'm giving the Andersons. Everybody at my wedding thought his toast was so heartfelt, but it wasn't. The words he talked about so eloquently were the tools he used to seduce me for his own agenda. I tell the entire story in my book, Love Fraud. It's really two parallel stories, an outrageous true crime novel and a spiritual journey to recovery. If you're involved with a sociopath, this book tells you how it happens and why it happens. I invite you to read it.